no, 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 no. You're not going to just create a new channel after t deleting your old one full of shilling for the Amico, create a new channel, and then start talking about the Amico, slowly creeping it in there with your stupid Evercade crap. No, no, you're going to get called out on it. You're still OEB Pete, and I'm going to review your stupid video. This video is called In Television Amico Games on the Evercade, Free the Games. <laughs> when I saw Darius Truxton first do that, I laughed hysterically the whole day, and I couldn't stop laughing. I think it was one of the funniest things he's ever done. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the channel. I'm Pete here. And boy, oh boy, we're getting into it. As the title suggests, we're going to talk about Amico <laughs> Games on Evercade. Why not, right? What do you mean, why not? It's a stupid shovelware that no one wants. Evercade itself is going to have better other games as shovelware. In television, Amico games are the worst type of shovelware possible. All right. So, it's interesting, right? Like, I've got a long history with the Amico. Um, won't really go into that. Probably bore you all. What do you mean? <laughs> he's like, he has a long history and he doesn't want to go into it. Go into it. You were a shill for the Amico. You were lo in love with Tommy Tallarico. All you did every single time was talk about how great the Amico is, how great the games were, how this is going to be the best thing ever. All the haters are just hating. And it ends up being that you were the one wrong. You were the one that crying. And you were the one who ended up deleting your channel because you couldn't take the hate. And you couldn't take the fact that you're just embarrassment to everybody. But I used to cover the Amico, their road to launch on a previous channel. And you know, that whole thing went to, <laughs> went to poop, right? Um, yeah, because you deleted it. You got so scared and you were so scared of everyone hating on you and making fun of you. You had to delete it. What else did you do? Now you can't even show your face. And, you know, I thought long and hard about this video. I asked a couple fellow friends about whether I should do this video. And, you know, there's a lot of people when you mention Amico just go completely to the drama, right? And, you know, that makes sense. Um, they created a lot of their own drama through the years. And a lot of their own drama. We see the SEC filing. We saw the papers. We saw Pat and Ian go through the documents to see how much of a scam it was. We can see that they just did a bunch of friggin' crowdfunding just to take money. We can see that the games weren't even done. There was lag, this, that. There's not. We're not creating our own drama. We sing for what it is and calling it out. And, um, you know, like I say, if you're going to be creating it, you probably deserve to live in it. So... You know, people have told me, you know... Yeah, you, you created it too, and then you couldn't live in it. You had to delete your channel because you're a scared little prick. Evercade does not need the drama and baggage and horse shite of the Amico on their system. Well, I'm like, screw that noise. I want to talk about the games. Because it wasn't all doom and gloom and complete crap with Amico. There was a lot of good people out there who were creating games in good faith for this system. Are you stupid? Of course it was all doom and crap out there, okay? 99% of the whole Amico story was doom, crap, lies, and, ha and hatred, okay? It was just the worst. Only like 1% of it was good. I'll actually tell you what the 1% was. The 1%... One of the best things that's ever happened from the Amico spawning is Trash JT losing his 10K. That's part of the 1% best things that's ever happened. Another good thing that's happened from the 1% from the Amico is freaking Retro Advisory Board calling out a Retro Bro saying that when you were when you were asking for help for your you couldn't feed your family or something, you came to him for help. That was another 1% that was good out of it. What else is good? Friggin' the videos from Turbo Slow acting like a lunatic, going crazy in his stupid room in his basement, friggin' stealing turtles. That was another 1% that was good. What else is good? Friggin' seeing the fact that DJ Cuck is such a shill, invested in something, and his whole life is a shill, and making fun of him, that's another 1% that came good out of it. What else came good out of it? Okay, actually, one of the best things that came out of this was Darius Truxton's videos, uh, hit after hit, Humor after humor, talking about the Amico and how crappy it is. That was actually one of the best things. And let's talk a little bit about that and why I think they would make a great fit, a new home on the Evercade. I don't know if this is technically possible. Probably not. 
of course it's technically possible. It's friggin' flash games you put on a stupid USB that you would get 10 years ago, stick it in the stupid Evercade, and there you go, you're loaded your stupid games. The only thing is the stupid controller, which doesn't even you don't even need to use. You can use a normal D-pad to play any of the games on the stupid Amigo. I don't think this is going to ever happen. You know, likely it is completely, you know, really low, but you never know. You really never know. If if you if if there's just a chance we could see some of these games come out on the Evercade, you know, I think why not talk about it a little bit. So you know, it's, for me, when I look at it, you know, seeing the Amico now since I stepped away from even talking about it, doing videos on it for well over a year, you can see the complete picture. And sometimes, you know, people kind of look at the picture and just see all the negatives and all the crap. And I really don't All want there is is negatives to the stupid Amico. That's all there is. Okay, the SEC filing saying they paid themselves loans for the for the... They loan their own company money, okay, and with interest so they can get money back. Actually, in technically, po technically, working for Amico during this time was the best possible thing. You did no work and you got paid. Okay, it was the best thing ever. I want to get into that because there's, you know, let's be honest, there's a whole lot there. But I wanted to focus on the games. because Why? Why not focus on the part that's actually obvious? Why not focus on the lies? Focus on the fact that there's lag. Focus on the fact that the games aren't even done. Focus on the fact that you have limited collector's editions right in front of you, okay? And they're just pieces, they're boxes that have nothing. A stupid coin, a stupid card, and a plastic piece of whatever that doesn't even do anything. Talk about that stuff. No, you're going to talk about the games, which are shovelware, and you're going to talk about the games because you're just nostalgic cuck over friggin' a television brand. The whole reason I like the concept of the Amico in the beginning was retro reimagined games. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. And first thing I want to say is these games on the Amico were promised to be small little games, 100 megabyte games, maybe 500 megabyte games. So they can fit on the Evercade. They can fit on an Evercade cart because Evercade right now carts old PlayStation 1 games. Small well, obviously they're going to fit on the cart. They're just shovelware games that you can make in a day. That one guy made the game in a day is probably like 10 megabytes. Of course they can fit on the Evercade. PlayStation 1 games. It's not an issue of whether it can fit on the stupid Evercade. That's not the argument. It's a, it's The issue is whether Evercade wants to be associated with a crappy brand like in television after Scaroni burned it to the ground, took all the money with Avocado and his pirate ship, and it just, it just went to the Cayman Islands. That's the issue. Does Evercade want to be associated with Intellivision? What everyone's just making a television. Anyone who touches Intellivision right now will be made fun of. You know, these are the games I kind of some of the ones I want to talk about. I want to talk about Cloudy Mountain, of course. That's probably the one I'm kind of missing the most that I probably will never get a chance to play. But if there's a of course you'll never get a chance to play it. Okay, it was a friggin' demo. It wasn't even complete. It was used to trick people like you into friggin' shilling for the system. That's all those demo games were shown for. So the Evercade VS or another system. Why Evercade VS? Well, this is Evercade fan channel, and I love the Evercade, so that's why we're talking about it. Also, these are indie games. These games were built by small little studios, probably less than 10, 20 people. These okay, they were built by the worst studio ever, Wasted Studios from Germany, okay? And they friggin' went under real quickly after that. They made one stupid game, and they had this, they were playing with Xbox controllers, okay? That just shows the whole gimmick of the friggin' Amico controller. That's the, that's the indie developers that you're interested in. They're garbage, they're garbage creators making garbage games, and all that, all those games were funded from Hans Ippisch's uh, tax money that he got, the grant he got from the uh, from the German uh, government. They created an LLC on purpose in Europe, whatever country, so that they can get the grant money from the government for the whole pandemic thing, and then use that money to create the games. They didn't even have the money to create the games. They had to take it from the tax people, okay? There are real people behind these games. Forget the drama and horseshit of the Amico and the Intellivision and everything they brought with it. And all that crap. What do you mean forget all that? That's the main part. They scammed a bunch of people for, out of investment money. That's the whole point of this is to expose the fact that they're liars and they took money from everybody. 
But idiots like you, who are so such a simp for Scammerino, you're so cucked by him, and you have no heart, you have no set of balls, you're just not going to go up and talk about the obvious truth. You're going to sit there and for behind your camera, being a lunatic, talking about how in television games could somehow show up on the Evercade. Keep dreaming, you friggin' lunatic. It's not about them. It's about the indie studios, the indie games. And I'm a big proponent of indie games. I buy a lot of indie games. That's why I love the Evercade. I've said from day one. So then go on Steam right now and get all the friggin' shovelware games you can off of Steam from indie developers everywhere. Go on the Switch and download the games. Better shovelware games than friggin' 10 levels of skiing with no difficulty setting. My favorite thing about the Evercade is all the indie games that they're putting on collections. Not the reashes of the Double Dragons, uh, things like that, but you know, the Xeno Crisis, the Tanglewood, all those Indie Heroes 2 collections. That's what I love, right? You can get these games anywhere right now on Steam and Switch. You can get them literally anywhere. Go friggin' make videos about that. I want these Hindi companies to sh have their work put out there. Why? Because I'd like to enjoy playing them because I'm a gamer, but also maybe somebody else notices the work they've done with these games and said, you know what? We're going to help you make more games. Different games. Support the studio. People support studio. Also, these What studio? They already went under, under. They already went bankrupt. They already got acquired. That Wasted Studios is doesn't even exist anymore. What studio are you talking about, OEV Pete, you moron? Gamers can continue to make games, which is super important. We need indie gamers to make cool, innovative games. These are retro-inspired games that I believe deserve to be released and measured properly for their own. Why are you sounding like you're crying? Like, shut up and grow up. You, you're freaking like 40 years old. Stop sounding like a child. You know, if Cloudy Mountain comes out and sucks, I'll be the first one to tell you it sucks. It was like, never done. It was a freaking demo. You saw one clip of it. You never saw it being played anywhere. Okay, Cloudy Mountain doesn't even exist. I guarantee I will. But I'd like to be able to play that game. I want to know, is Moon Patrol any good? I is want... Moon Patrol any good? Is Moon Patrol is trash. You saw friggin' the Crypt Keeper, Brett Lies, Brett Weiss, play Moon Patrol. It couldn't even get past half of the first stage. It's lag everywhere. The game friggin' sucks. I don't know. You know, will these games stand up as their own titles? They look fun from the videos, but those videos you don't know, right? Any trailer video can be can be misleading. You, you just That's just the way it is. Okay, so then why back then didn't you call say this kind of stuff? That the trailer might be misleading. I don't know if it's fun. No, last time when you were shilling for the damn friggin' Intellivision Miku on your OEV Pete channel that you deleted, you were shilling for it nonstop. You wouldn't listen to any negativity. It's all about being a cuck for Scammeroni, and that was it. Why didn't you do it last time? You know, the Intellivision Amigos and the first one to put out trailers that you know, of a game that might not represent the final product. But I want these games to be measured. I want them to go out and see if there's a market for these retro-inspired games. There's no market for it. All these games are, are, are available right now on any other platform, okay? The, if there's a market for it, it's already been friggin' studied and done, okay? We don't need breakout skiing and friggin' pool, MLB license, Shark Shark, Finnick. We don't need these games like Finnegan Fox out right now. Fox and Force is out right now. You can see the market for it. You know, Atari's doing it with the Recharge series, right? But these are licensed products from Intelligence back catalog. I want to see those games out. I want game preservation. This is not game preservation. This is just a box with a cool little coin. I guess you can call it co coin. It's not a cool little coin. It's a coin made in China with the cheapest metal possible and a little tap card that unlocks a license. I think they're, you know, this is not preservation. There's nothing on this, but in the Evercade- Yeah, it's not preservation, and you're a moron for buying it with all that money. You thought it was gonna be something. You thought you're doing Scamroni a friggin' favor by shilling for the product. He kicked you to the dirt. You deleted your old channel. Now you're friggin' opening cards from Dollarama and friggin' the stupid Evercade thing going on. The ROMs are on the carts. They're preserved. And if we can get, you know, Moon Patrol put on a cart on the Evercade, it lives there. It's there. You know, you can always have access to it. And you may debate that, or, you know, ROMs versus, you know, originally developed games or whatever. But the games are on a physical media. They're not lost in a digital store that goes offline. 
this is not preserving what I'm holding in my hands is not preserving games. No, it's not preserving. It's biodegradable. You leave it outside in your backyard for a friggin' day, it will turn into stardust. It's just not. So I, I want How to the hell? Why the hell would you make limited edition boxes biodegradable and friggin' say that happily in your friggin' marketing campaigns and videos? That's the it's the complete opposite of what you want to do. Limited edition, you want to keep forever and friggin' put in a glass case so it can be in a museum forever then you can sell it to other people and it preserves it scamaroni is like it's freaking biodegradable what these games to be preserved and, and be in the history of gaming i want them there oh my god you do not want these stupid shovelware games that are not even done and preserved in history the video game industry is trying to delete anything in television Miko related right now. It's the biggest embarrassment that's ever happened to the friggin' video game industry, and it created so much humor and so many funny videos. And finally, it's for like for people like me, people like who originally got interested back in the day in, in these games. You know, it was a failed endeavor. I mean, the final straw's not been pulled yet. The nail's not been hammered in that coffin. What but... do you mean? The friggin' building's gone. There's no one in the building. The fr the all of course the final nail's already been put in the friggin' coffin. It's been a failed endeavor. And I think a lot of gamers who want to play a new version of Moon Patrol, Mystical Man, Biplanes, a different type of version of it, um, would finally get closure and would finally be able to move on and play these games. Some of them, at least. The ones that the majority of the retro community got interested in these games in the first place was because of the retro-inspired titles. That's why I did. I wanted to play a new Moon Patrol. I wanted to play- Yeah, exactly. You're just nostalgic over in television. That's the whole scam, which you guys don't understand. Scammeroni went, bought the Intellivision brand, knowing that old boomers like you will fall hook, line, and sinker for the fact that there's a new Intellivision system coming out. You guys got tricked. You guys put all your heart and soul into shilling for the system. And then all of a sudden, he took all the money with the crowdfunding. They friggin' loaned their own company money with interest, so they got money. You can see in the SEC filing or whatever filing that is, Scamaroni got paid $96,000 that year. Avocado was supposed to get paid $190,000. He took a pay cut and he got one fifty. dollars Oh, thank you, Avocado. You got one fifty thousand dollars instead of one ninety. dollars Thank you. One fifty thousand dollars for not shipping out a system. One fifty thousand dollars for making the worst games possible. And one fifty thousand dollars for lying there like a prick avocado. Okay? So then all you guys just got tricked by the Intellivision brand. And you got hook, line, and sinker. Shilled for the whole thing. Scamroni's your lover. That's all that happened. And then just because of that... You guys now think that, oh my God, Intellivision Amico games are the best. I want to preserve them. The older style games of Intellivision are better and more nostalgic than these newer style games, which are done with crappy graphics and crappy system with lag. Do you not understand OEV Pete's, you moron? Every Intellivision video you make from now on, I will scold you and roast you nonstop, okay? And that's all I got to say, okay? Okay.